also oh. good because it's actually protection. You don't have to look at the bankruptcy act. And uh, we've been noticing in our own uh, business and practice um, some uh, heightened um, activity. Um, it's now today's the first of April. Uh, happy April Fool's Day. Um, today's the first of April, and uh, JobKeeper came to an end yesterday. And um, but we've been detecting sort of increased activity in the market generally, um, and increased use of. Um, creditors' demands and increased use of bankruptcy notices and the courts and so on. And uh, it's clear that, um, from my observation anyway, it's clear that there is um, uh, new rules. The COVID emergency rules uh, went out the door on the 31st of December. So uh, on the 1st of January uh, 2021, new rules came in. And so I guess what I'm saying is that there really actually is new activity. So let's have a look at the Bankruptcy Act at Section 41, and we'll see what that has to say. Uh, we're going to look at a number of other um, different types of law, including uh, well, insolvency law. So we're going to look at the Corporations Act, and we're going to look at the Bankruptcy Act and specific sections of it over the coming weeks. Okay, so now looking at um, Section 41 of the Bankruptcy Act. Now, this is probably the main um, the main uh, source of uh, bankruptcy law, uh, is where uh, someone gets a judgment against another party, um, you know, uh, uh, Mark Smith gets a judgment against Ralph Palagaru. So uh, this is a true example. Uh, we got a judgment against Ralph Palagaru, um, and then we go and uh, ask what's called a person called the official receiver. Uh, here in section 41, the bankruptcy act, the official receiver is some people called AFSA. So we get a bankruptcy notice issued and we issued a demand. And uh, last September, um, in that instance, we had to give uh, the, um, the judgment debtor um, six months. Okay. Now, why I'm saying that there's heightened activity is because from the 1st of um, January, uh, the judgment creditor only has to give the judgment creditor a de debtor uh, 21 days. So, um, so in that instance, uh, if if today I got the judge, uh, if I I got a bankruptcy notice, I issued it today. We'd say, okay, Mr. Pelagaru, you've got 21 days. Uh, give us $106,551. Uh, and if you fail to, that is an event. That's that's one event of many that uh, that are covered under Section 40 of the Bankruptcy Act, which we'll have a look at uh, very shortly. So, bankruptcy notices are covered under Section 41 of the uh, Bankruptcy Act 1966. It's a Commonwealth Act, um, and how they work: an, uh, a person, uh, the judgment creditor, goes and obtains a bankruptcy notice. It must be a final order, so it can't be stayed, um, or appealed, or uh, whatever. Um, or it can be two or more final orders, but taken together, they have to reach the, what's called the statutory minimum. So the statutory minimum has jumped around a little bit um, during COVID and since COVID. So we can have a look at that and we'll see what it says. Uh, statutory minimum, if an amount uh, is $5,000, um, if an amount greater than five is prescribed, then it's the prescribed amount or it's, it's $5,000. So I think at the moment it's actually 10, but uh, during COVID it was 20. So we'll have a, a quick look. Um, and in the next episode, we'll have a quick look at that. So um, this is a, yeah, this is quite a good section, this particular section of the Bankruptcy Act. It's all the definitions, so it's interpretation. So it's, it's worthwhile having a look at that. And actually, why don't we have a quick look at the table? Now, this is using uh, an app called uh, Osley. Uh, uh, it's not the official um, government website. So if you wanted to have a look at the Bankruptcy Act um, 1966, the official one is under leg legislation.gov.au. Um, so it's... Uh, it's always a good idea, yes, to check this and make sure you're looking at the current version. So you can actually see the series, and uh, this gets changed all the time. Uh, so you can see this was, uh, oh, there you go, coronavirus economic package. Uh, so in April last year, the um, omnibus um, package came in, uh, but that's been superseded on the uh, February of this year. So this is the current one. So this is how to look at it, latest version. So notice there, uh, it actually brought up a obsolete version. So this is the, the way to make sure you get the absolute latest version. Ostley uh, is not um, guaranteed to be the latest version, but this legislation.gov.au, in the case of uh, Commonwealth law, is. So um, let's, we will go and have, well, let's have a quick look. So interpretation, that's, um, that's quite, um, that's our definitions. Um, so these are, you know, quite lengthy, um, but it, it, it covers words like debt. You know, what does what does debt mean? Uh, what does default period? Uh, so that's that default period. It was six months during the coronavirus uh, uh, situation. Um, so uh, there's all sorts of interesting and different uh, parts of this particular act, and um, we'll talk about those in some greater detail. So that is a, a little introduction about bankruptcy notices. Um, as I said in the next video, if you want to come to uh, you know, view the playlist. Um, you'll see in the next video, we're actually going to talk about events of bankruptcy. And we'll also 
let's have a look. We'll also have a look at uh, events of bankruptcy um, and we'll have a look at avoidable transactions. So these are, you know, a, 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 a very, very interesting section of um, sections 120, 121, 122. Um, so it's, it's, you know, a, a rather exotic area. Okay. Any questions, uh, give us a call. You can go and visit us at our website. We'll just go and have a look at that now. Um, DC Partners dot solutions. And uh, you can wander down to the bottom right hand corner. We've got a chat tool there. And uh, you can instant message chat with us uh, anytime. Oh, where is the instant message chat tool? I don't usually use Safari. There you go. Here's our instant message chat tool. So um, you can chat with us in real time and uh, one of us, well, a lot of the time we're available. We're not always available, but you can uh, chat with us at any time and uh, using that tool. Otherwise, you can give us a call, 1300-327-123. Mark Smith's my name. Thanks very much for tuning in and make sure you watch the next video. Subscribe if you, uh, if you like. Uh, bottom right-hand corner here on YouTube, uh, hit the subscribe button and you can see our different videos. Thanks, bye.